The attention of an anxious world is focused on East and West Germany and Berlin. The last great exodus of refugees from the East is processed in the Marienfelde Center as the communist German regime moves to close their border against further flights. Since the Khrushchev announcement that he would sign a separate peace treaty with East Germany, the flow of those seeking asylum here on the fringe of freedom has reached 1,500 a day. But from now on, crossings into free Berlin will be fugitive affairs. Once the East Germans are processed, they are absorbed into the hungry West German labor market, flown to those centers where they are needed most and where they are safest from red-inspired kidnappings. then others would arrive to take their place, leaving most of their possessions behind them and taking the one choice they cherished most, the desire for freedom. East German troops swooped down on the border between Red Berlin and the free city in the pre-dawn hours to close the 66 points where movement between the sectors has been relatively free. East Berliners who held coveted jobs in the West were told to stay home and the elevated trains were halted. Mayor Willy Brandt, commenting on this latest Russian move in the War of Nerves, cautioned East Berliners against revolt, exhorting them to do nothing rash. The mayor, along with other West Berlin authorities, feels that some minor incident might give East German and Soviet troops an excuse to oppress the people further. Two battle-ready Soviet Army divisions have ringed the city to bolster the army of the East German puppet government. Meanwhile, the Allies set to work immediately to draft a strong note of protest. Even when the corridor to Berlin was blocked and the Allies resorted to the famed airlift, free movement within the city was never interrupted. The Russians have told their people that the border was closed to prevent the infiltration of agents from the West. Never a word about those who fled to the arms of freedom, fled from the rule of guns and tanks that cast ominous shadows on the red side of freedom's border.